Hello Year 7, welcome to the Redbridge Science Channel. Today we're going to be learning all about the Bunsen burner. So we've got three learning objectives. How do I safely turn a Bunsen on and off? When do I use the three different flames? And can I explain why turning the collar gives us those different flames? Okay, so this is a Bunsen burner. And the Bunsen is made of four parts. You have the chimney, the collar, the base, and the tube. And the tube is connected over here to the gas taps. So this is where we get our supply of gas from. So the gas comes along the pipe into the base of the Bunsen and it comes up the chimney and you can light it at the top. Now the job of the collar is that it turns and so you hopefully can see that in this position here the air hole is wide open which will allow air to come in whereas if I turn it like this the air hole is closed which does not allow any air in it would just be the gas coming through the pipe. So I'm going to show you a diagram of a Bunsen now and these are the labels. Okay, we have the chimney, the collar, the air hole, the tube and the base. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do then is to learn how to safely turn a Bunsen burner on and off. So the first thing you must do of course is make sure that you're wearing a pair of goggles, so I'll be doing that. Uh, other things that we would expect you to do is make sure if you've got long hair you've tied it up, I don't have that problem. To make sure you're standing, to make sure you're not wearing anything that might dangle into the flame like a tie or anything else like that, a necklace perhaps. And to put your Bunsen on a heat proof mat in the centre of a desk. Okay. Now, when you are going to light a Bunsen burner, it is really important that you, first of all, have the collar turned so that the air hole is closed. All I want to do is to set fire to the methane gas. Okay, so the air hole must be closed. I have a match ready. I have this, which is called a wooden splint or a wooden spill. And I'm going to turn the gas on. And the gas is coming through the pipe, I can hear it. Helps if you can light a match. Okay. And when you're ready, just making sure that your head is back, you just pass the flame across the top of the Bunsen, like that. Now, obviously I want to blow the flame out here now, on the spill. But I mustn't blow it towards the Bunsen, that would be silly. So I've just got to turn my head away and blow it out. And if it's still glowing like that, you can just um, do that onto the heat proof mat. So the Bunsen is now lit. And this flame is known as the safety flame. And the reason it's called a safety flame is because it's bright yellow, which means that you can see it very easily. And it's also because it's actually the least hot flame of the three flames, okay? So it's, it's not that hot, and you can see it, the safety flame. Now, if I want to change the flame, all I have to do is to turn the collar. So I'm now going to turn the collar so that the air hole is half open and half closed. So now what's happening is I'm burning a mixture of methane gas and some oxygen from the air. So some air is able to get in through the hole. So now this is a mixture. And the flame has turned into what we call a gentle blue flame. It's blue in colour, but it's reasonably gentle. Now that's quite a hot flame, um, but the flame is just wobbling very slightly. Okay, A gentle blue flame, and you would use that to heat something up um, fairly gently, fairly slowly at first. If I want to turn the flame now to the third type, all I need to do is turn the collar again to open the air hole wide open. And now I'm burning methane gas plus 
quite a lot of oxygen. There's quite a lot of oxygen in the air getting in through the hole. This flame is called the roaring blue flame. And if I keep quiet, you might be able to hear it on the camera. Now, the roaring blue flame has got... Uh, a, the flame goes up to about here somewhere, but you might also be able to make out there's a bright blue bit there called the cone. And the hottest part of this flame is, is here, just at the top of the cone there, in that area there. That's the hottest part. And you would use the roaring blue flame if you wanted to heat up water or something very quickly, very strongly. That's an incredibly hot flame, the roaring blue flame. Now, if you want to turn the Bunsen off, it's really straightforward. What you would do is turn the collar so that the Bunsen goes back onto a safety flame. And then all you need to do is go back to the gas tap and turn this little yellow handle like so and the Bunsen goes off. Okay, So hopefully now we've covered how to light a Bunsen, how to change the collar to get the different flames, when you would use those flames, and how to turn the Bunsen off again. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you about the Bunsen, and that is um, to show you the two, two of the flames and what they, those flames are like. So I'm just going to relight it again. So remember, I've got my goggles, I'm standing, I've checked for safety, Okay, turn the gas on. Oh, hang on, did I remember to close the air hole? Yes, I did. There we go. Now, what I'd like to show you about the safety flame is because it's really yellow in colour and we are literally just burning methane gas here, this flame is actually quite a dirty flame. Coming off the top of it, there's going to be a lot of what we call soot. Now, soot is actually uh, an element called carbon. So this tile I'm using here, you can hopefully see, is nice and clean and white. But if I was to hold that tile just at the top of the flame here. It doesn't take too long before the flame has made the tile turn quite black and sooty. And it is just like a powder, so I can scrape into that so you can see that it's, it's really just a dirty flake. Okay, so that's carbon or soot. Um, but now, if I turn the collar and we go back to, I'm going to go straight to the roaring blue flame this time. And I put my same dirty tile back. This flame is a very, very hot flame. And because I'm burning a mixture of methane now with plenty of oxygen, um, it's actually quite a clean flame. It's very hot, but it's quite a clean flame. And it usually, with a little bit of perseverance, will clean the tile back up again. There we go. Hopefully you can see that the tile is now nice and clean again. Okay. Put that down there. Turn the collar back to the safety flame. And gas off. Okay, so just very quickly then, hopefully now we've covered how we safely turn the Bunsen on and how we safely turn it off, when we would want to use the three different flames. One thing I didn't really say actually think about it was the safety flame. When we use the safety flame is actually when we're not really using the Bunsen. So uh, if perhaps you lit the Bunsen but then your teacher asked you all to come to the front, you would leave your Bunsen on the safety flame so everyone can see it and nobody accidentally goes near it. And hopefully you now understand a little bit about why when you turn the collar you get those different flames in terms of what you're burning and how hot the flame is and also what that flame is like, whether it's dirty or clean. So that is the Bunsen Burning Assembly. Thank you.